Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. My name is Muhammad Akmal Amin bin Kamaru Zaman and I will be your moderator or host for today. Welcome to our forum for this week. As we know, digital security and privacy is a current big issue which enable you think about the topic that we have highlighted and we try to solve the issues together by sharing what you can do and don't and the recommended idea and thoughts which will be delivered by our guests today we will to highlight a topic that quite interesting to be discussed on this forum first of all is about hacker the second one is about software thief and the last not least digital right management i'm sure that a very one of us have our own opinion and thoughts about this topic before we proceed to our forum i would like to introduce our panelists for today Wasting our time, let's see the flow of today's forum. This forum separated three parts. For the first part, our moderator will explain the main topic for today. Followed by the second part, which our panel will explain their own topic specifically by referring the moderator question. And the third part. Moderator will make a conclusion for all of the topic. Let's get started. Before we start to our forum in details, let me explain our topic for today. Digital security and privacy refer to a concept of protecting user while they navigate the internet particularly those who are most vulnerable it attempts to protect user from potentially harmful content found on apps or websites as well as the consequences of such content such as grooming pornographic or cyberbullying this topic is frequently be defined as the responsible and safe use of technology. This includes the use of the internet as well as other forms of electronic communication. Because the topic of digital privacy and security is so broad and general, it can be divided to several categories. So, without wasting our time, let's hear the first topic about hacker from the first panel. The question is, what can we do to protect ourselves not to get involved in hacker issues? And can you tell us what a recommendation for issues you will discuss? Assalamualaikum and have a good day for everyone, especially all our panelists today. I was happy to have the opportunity to share some issues about digital security and privacy. So today, I am going to talk about hackers. First of all, hackers are someone who use a computer and internet or the skill they have to solve a technical problem. However, hackers terms are more notorious for negative things such as breaking into a system without permission to commit a crime. This is because they want to steal confidential information such as identities or put viruses into the system to bring down others' work or worse, uh, hold the system hostage to obtain some ransom. Without wasting time, I will share some tips and recommendations on this hacker issue. For example, 
our Facebook account has been hacked. So what can we do? First, make sure it has been hacked. If you can't log in to your Facebook account, it is definitely hacked because the password has been changed. Report directly to uh, Facebook if you cannot access your account at www.facebook.com slash hack. Other than that, change all passwords that are connected to Facebook, such as uh, email used as username and also those associated with the emails. We are afraid that it can hack all personal account and it is very dangerous. Next, check all permissions granted to Facebook. Check on your Facebook app who, ha uh, who has access to your account. You can revoke the access by going to settings, apps and website. In addition, make the confirmed login access stronger. Facebook now offers two login authentication. With this function, you will be notified if anyone or yourself has logged into your account. Lastly, um, spreading the word about your account has been hacked. Tell your friend about it. The hacker may be pretending to obtain personal information through your Facebook account. Regardless, make sure you don't share too much personal information on social media and use, and use it responsibly. These are some recommendations for hack issue. Protect yourself while online. Regularly do personal account check so as to be able to notice any strange activity and if it happened, we can solve it in advance. We must be extremely careful when entering others' room chat or posting personal web page. This is due to, we must limit ourselves to share personal information so that the chances of getting hacked is very low. Other than that, practice safe email and virus or malware protocols. For example, do not open message that have been sent by someone to a stranger for you. It might be a trick or uh, to trap you so that they can hack your account without you even notice it. We must take, we must make sure our personal account has the best security software product installed in our PC like using antivirus protection apps. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you for Mrs. Camilla for the explanation. We know hacker is one of issue that user need to avoid from this problem. Let's move to our second panel, which is Mrs. Najwa. What about Mrs. Najwa? Is the true software thief is one of a bad issue in digital security and also privacy. Thank you to Mr. Moderator. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a nice day to all the panelists and the audience. I'm so glad to be one of the guests here. So based on today's topics, yes, software thief is one of the bad issue in digital security and privacy. Software thief occurs when someone steals software, media, intentionally erase program, illegally register and activate a program. Today, I'm going to share with a few of what you can do and don't, and also some recommendation for this issue. Okay, there is what you can do, which is beef up your software list license agreements which allow you to install the software on only one computer or device on a specified number of computers and mobile device and also make one copy of the software as a backup. In addition, a leasing agreement can protect your software like you can export the software and give copies to friends and colleagues while continuing to use the software. Other than that, you also can put in evidence gathering technology such as clean in your software and supplement the phone home data with website registrations, information website acknowledging, support documents, support requests and others. Clean technology not only tells you that your software has been used illegally, but it also provides a complete picture including details of who used how long it has been used and more. So here are some recommendations for introducing switchable methods of payments or software. 
This is to help people who do not have a payment facility or do not use online payment or transactions as a primary primary methods for purchasing reduced offerative. Last but not least, is the availability of high speed internet in academic institutions institutions whereas low speed internet also creates problems for downloading big size of software which compels people to take from other sources instead of wasting much of their time on downloading that's all from me i pass back to our moderator thank you thank you miss najwa for a great point to be said. What about you, Mrs. Asfa? I think you have a something to share about digital right management that is related to digital security and privacy right. So, how does this DRM work and what does it do and its benefits? Thanks, Mr. Moderator. Digital right management is the technology used to protect and utilize intellectual property and copyright materials in the digital sphere from misuse or thief. Data governance and data protection are the two primary goals of digital right management. Digital right management has become fundamental to the current content consumption landscape and there are several reasons why we need its examples such as preventing unauthorized use, sharing and copying, of digital content and reducing risk and providing revenue protection for content providers. Uh, <coughs> in today's uh, age of globalization, copyright holders place emphasis on dealing with piracy. This matter needs to be taken seriously even, even though it is to be software it needed to be secure or prevent others from copying computer scheme or operating system. Because of this, uh, copyrights need to use DRM, which is digital right management, to protect their software. For example, digital content is encrypt, encrypted, uh, the key is bundled with a digital license containing rules about content usage. That's all. Thank you to all our panelists today. Finally, we have come to the end of our forum where we have shared a lot of knowledge and we don't ever know the thought of before. Well, from what all our panelists shared just now, there are some do and don't and also the recommendation for some issue in digital security and privacy. In conclusion, we as a user of advanced technology need to be sensitive and careful and take safety measures to provide from getting problem while surfing internet. People can take an action from what have been shared from our panelists today that include topic about hacker, digital thief and also digital right management. I hope this forum will bring a lot of information and also benefit to all of you. Until we see for the next week. That's all for me. Bye bye.